Ready? Mm-hmm. Bear tutorials. Making a proximity sensor with bear paint. Hi, I'm Matt. Today we're going to show you a really cool tutorial about how to use an Arduino and a pad of bear paint as a capacitance sensor. So by the end of the tutorial, you're going to have a pad of paint connected up to an Arduino, and we're going to be able to tell how far away your hand is. There are a lot of cool projects that use bare paint and Arduino together, and this is just the first of them, so keep looking back for more. Enjoy! So for this tutorial, we're going to need a piece of paper, we need a bit of bare paint, a paintbrush to apply it, an Arduino, a USB cable, a breadboard, a few jumper wires to work with the breadboard and maybe a paper clip to connect to the paint and a selection of resistors. For a more detailed component list, uh, look in the text of the tutorial. So the first thing to do is to just paint a square on the piece of paper with the pot of bare paint. It doesn't really matter what shape it is, but what is important is we want to make sure that it's nice and close to the edge of the paper so that we can contact it. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to connect pin 4, which is the receive pin, to a row on our breadboard. Then we're going to connect pin 2, which is the sensor pin, to another row. Then we're going to bridge between these two rows with one of the resistors that's listed in the tutorial text. So now we've got a resistor that's going between pin 4 and pin 2. Okay, so the next step is to connect the pad of paint to the Arduino. The way that we're going to do this is via a paper clip, which I've soldered onto this wire. So first, I'm going to connect the wire to pin 2. Now the paper clip, of course, is connected to pin 2. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take the pad of paint that we painted previously, and I'm just going to put the paper clip onto the pad of paint. The cool thing about bare paint is there's a lot of different ways to connect to it. If you check out BB's tutorial on connecting, you'll see that you can use paper clips, uh, crocodile clips, snaps, a lot of different stuff. But here we're just going to use the paper clip. So now we have an electrical connection from here all the way back to pin 2 on the Arduino. So the next step is to download the uh, CapSense library <clears throat> and install it into your Arduino program. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually go to the tutorial page on bearconductive.com and we're going to click on this link which is going to give us the option to download this library. I'm going to save it into my documents, into Arduino, into libraries. So I've saved it there. I'll take a second for it to download. Once I've done that, I navigate to the file and I'm going to unzip it. Okay, now that it's unzipped, you see that it contains uh, a couple files in a folder. So now what we're going to do is open up Arduino itself. And if we've successfully installed the library, then we'll see it underneath Sketch Import Library. You can see here that it says Capacitive Sense 003. That means we've successfully put it in. So leave Arduino open and go back and copy the code from the bare conductive tutorial starting at the hash include all the way down to the bottom there. And make sure to get that last closing bracket in it as well. So just copy the code and you can paste it into Arduino. To make sure that the code has come in correctly you can verify it. And we can see that it's verified which means that it's worked. So the next step after this is to actually upload the code to the Arduino itself. So we're going to do that just by connecting our Arduino. Here we're using an Uno. The important thing to remember is that we need to select the correct board. So we've got Uno and we've selected the serial port. Now we're just going to upload it. Great, so it means that it's uploaded correctly and now we're ready to start watching the serial port. So now you should have your pad of bare paint connected to the circuit and your Arduino connected to the computer. Now we're going to check and see if the sensor is actually functioning. So the first thing to do is to click on the serial monitor and ensure that the monitor is set to 9600 baud because that's what we specified in the code. And we know that it's working because you can see a stream of numbers coming out. They're mostly single digit numbers and as I move my hand closer you see that the numbers increase. So Effectively now, the pad of paint knows how far away my hand is. So this means that the sensor is working, which is pretty cool in itself, but an important thing to note is that you can put another non-conductive material on the top. So here I've just used a piece of paper, and as my hand gets close, it still functions. 
But this means that you can apply bare paint to the back of a piece of wood um, or to a piece of plastic and the sensor will still function. Okay, so hopefully now you've got a proximity sensor that's working and uh, you've got a bunch of numbers coming to your serial port on your computer. In further tutorials, we'll show you some cool ways that you can turn these numbers into sound or you could turn them into color. Uh, but for now, we'd love to see different ways that you've applied this uh, same idea to different materials and in different spaces.